Hello and welcome back to another video. In this video, I'll be showing you how to install OpenSUSE on VirtualBox. So, OpenSUSE is a free and open source RPM based Linux distribution developed by um, OpenSUSE project. So, to install the OpenSUSE on VirtualBox, uh, you need to watch this video until the end. So, there are basically a few things to do before installing the OpenSUSE. First of all, uh, you need to install the VirtualBox onto your system and the another thing to do is to download the ISO file of the OpenSUSE so you can download the ISO file of the OpenSUSE from this link I'll give this link on the description box so when you open this link you'll find uh, basically two versions of OpenSUSE one is Tumbleweed and another one is Lip so OpenSUSE Lip is a stable and highly tested uh, version of OpenSUSE so if you are a beginner and if you want to uh, try the OpenSUSE and if you are thinking to run the OpenSUSE for a longer time then you can just download the lib version since it is more stable uh, than Tumbleweed. On the other hand, uh, Tumbleweed uh, gets the update frequently in a lib and you can call it as a rolling distro. So you can choose either of these, uh, they are pretty much same. So for now, uh, I'm going to download the lib. So you just need to click on install lib. And in the download section, you can find a bunch of download options. So the ISO file of the OpenSUSE for the Intel or AMD CPU desktops, uh, they, are, they are right here. So we don't need to download other versions. So inside this section, you just need to download the updated offline image. So. You just need to click on download and the download will be started. So after downloading the ASU file of the OpenSUSE, you need to download and install the VirtualBox. So for that, you need to search for VirtualBox and get inside the download section of the VirtualBox. So I'll give this link on the description box so you can just quickly copy it from there. And inside here, you can find the VirtualBox uh, and its version written here, platform packages. So to download the VirtualBox for Windows, just click on Windows host and the download will be started. So after downloading both of these, you just need to go to that download folder. And you need to run the uh, VirtualBox exe file as the administrator if you haven't installed it then. So run it at the administrator and installing the VirtualBox is pretty much easy. So you just need to click on next for a few times and um, click on install. That's it. We are done with the VirtualBox installation. So after the installation is done, you just need to start the VirtualBox. So basically this is the interface of the VirtualBox and this is what you see after installing the VirtualBox for the first time. So now to uh, set the OpenSUSE on your VirtualBox, you just need to click on new. Now you need to type the operating system name, so type uh, OpenSUSE and a virtual box is um, progressive enough to choose the version for you which is OpenSUSE 64 bit and the virtual box will automatically select its type as Linux. So after this you just need to uh, click on next. So now you need to allocate the RAM for the uh, OpenSUSE system. So you must allocate at least 2 gigs but uh, you can allocate up to the 4 gigs to be on the safer side and you need to allocate the processor for your OpenSUSE system so you can allocate up to this green mark uh, to be on a safer side so it can be different according to the uh, capability of your system so after this you need to uh, click on next and now you need to allocate the virtual hard drive for your OpenSUSE system so you need to allocate at least uh, 25 gigs to 30 gigs a virtual hard drive but you can allocate as much as you want according to your requirement so after allocating the virtual hard drive I just click on next and the basic settings are done now you just need to click on finish so that's it so now before starting the system again go to the settings section so inside the general you'll find the advanced section so click on that and now you need to set both of these to bidirectional so set it to bidirectional. Now it will enable you to copy and paste a drag and drop the files and folders text between your host system, which is Windows 11 and the OpenSUSE system. So after this, uh, you need to click on system. 
so basically these are the uh, previous settings which we made so you just need to click on display again and now you need to allocate the uh, video memory for your OpenSUSE system so you need to allocate half of this green mark so it can be different according to the um, capability of your system so make sure to allocate up to the half of the screen mark so now uh, you need to click on storage and inside the storage section you will find this empty section now in this empty section you need to add as the ISO file of the OpenSUSE so choose a disk file and you need to go to the download folder and select the ISO file so that's it, uh, the settings are done and now OpenSUSE system is set up in our virtual box system. Now it's time to boot up the OpenSUSE and install it in our uh, system. So for that just click and start. Now you need to select the second option uh, called installation and just press enter. At first it will configure the network manager and it will ask you to select the language and select your keyboard layout and you can test your keyboard layout here so after choosing your language and your keyboard layout you just need to uh, press next and it will ask you to enable the unvaried repositories so I recommend you to activate and it, it will ask you to select the additional repositories and there are a lot of repositories down here so you can enable these repositories later on so for now you just need to click on next so now it will ask you to select the desktop environment for your OpenSUSE system so i always like the norm desktop environment so you can install xfc or kde whatever you want but uh, for now i'm going to select the desktop with norm and you can just change this desktop environment later on after the installation you just need to select any one of them and just click on next so now the uh, it will do the automatic partitioning and it will create few partitions such as swap uh, boot partition and the root partition so since we are going to install the open susa on virtualbox there is no need to do anything here you just need to click on next and now you need to select your location and you just need to click on next now you need to create a username and password for your open source system so just type that and just click on next so basically this is the installation settings overview and the softwares which are going to be installed in our system and all of this so you just need to click on install and here we go now it may take a while to install the open susa you need to keep patience until that you can just grab a coffee and wait for some minutes now the installation is done and now it will reboot so first of all uh you need to close this and you need to remove the installation medium so for that go to the settings get inside the storage section and you need to deattach the ISO file from the virtual drive and you just need to click on OK and now you need to start so here we go choose the open SUSE and press enter so here we go this is the welcome screen of the open SUSE now you just need to close it and get inside this system and to be with on the full screen you can just go to the full screen option so here we go it is working perfectly fine in this way you can install the open susia on your virtual box system so hey guys thanks for watching i'll make such video if you like share and subscribe my channel see you guys in the next video until then signing out